know, I really thought about this and I think if uh, I had to ask, you know, some historical person and that, that person would be Dr. King. From being part of um, one of my programs and, and that's what I want, that you can be as successful as you possibly can and you have loved that experience. You loved the process. I was just sitting there going, oh my God, the tears just pouring out of my face. And I was just like, God, no, I got to keep going. Left foot in front of right foot. Uh, Martin Luther King. And, the re and what I would want to ask him, you know, back in that time, I'm sure that he knew that with the work and stuff that he was doing, he knew that he could be killed or anybody in his family could be killed at any time of the hard work and everything that you have to do to be successful the right way. And that's what I've been preaching in my sport for forever, to do it the right way. And you can, you can get results. I uh, just kind of hit out and was a hermit. And then I was drinking quite a bit, which was always part of my life. I was a funaholic as opposed to an alcoholic and uh, I was having the time of my life. But he didn't let that stop him. He continued to fight and do whatever he had to do to try to, you know, to make things better. So I would just like to know, you know, how do you do that? You know, how do you just sit down and make up your mind, you know, that, hey, I know I could die or my wife or my kids, they could die, you know. And so how do you separate that from, you know, from what you're trying to do? The right way. But for for that moment in time, and I still remember that moment of just walking past the gym and said, wow, they have gymnastics, this is awesome. And walking in that gym and just turned my life around. And now here I am, a Hall of Fame coach, a coach of Olympic champion. You know, and so I would just like to talk to him and just see what, you know, what, how was he able to cope with what he had to go through each and every day? And how did he make that decision to, to decide to continue to do his work, even though it would have maybe caused a lot of harm to him or his family. And, um, uh, you know, NCAA champion and, and all the gamut uh, of my sport, just by walking past the gym that day, changed my life, that moment in time. I, I have a remembrance of, of, of water, like a hose, a giant hose shooting. <laughs> down on me and I'm reaching up and I was just swimming and fighting going no 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 I can't do this and I felt the desperation I'm like oh my god I gotta get over it and I, really got, I broke through and I was just like oh oh, oh my god what, 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 what is this and then all of a sudden I was like being wet and down with like this warm feeling and I was like oh this feels so great and then all of a sudden I woke up and I said hey you know what's happening you're dying again dude you can't do this and I just started fighting again and the hose came on 